up guys Rajangit Singh here and I welcome you all in today's very new cool exciting tutorial so let's get started so this is how I shot this video now we'll go to the frame when my foot just touch the ground yes in this frame it just touched the ground so here we will split this layer with control shift D now we need to get rid of the jump part I mean it should start when I am already in the air and when I am about to come down yes from this point and trim this layer I'll rename it to Raj Roto. Now we'll bring in our clean plate. So our video is looking like this now. Now I will rotoscope this Raj Roto layer. It's just 8 frames. And after rotoscoping, it will look like this. Now go to the last frame of this layer. Hit P from the keyboard and add a keyframe. Go back to its first frame and take the layer upwards. So right now, our video is looking like this. Here we will turn the motion blur on of this layer and also of the comp. Very nice. Here we will add the ground crack footage. This is already keyed out. You can download it from the description and make sure this layer should start from the frame when the feet just touch the ground. Nice. Now you can see my feet and my hands are behind the ground crack. So definitely we need to do some rotoscopy again. I think my each and every video has rotoscopy part. <laughs> it's interesting actually. So I have already rotoscoped and I will directly bring that layer. But if you want to learn the rotoscopy in detail, just click on the I button in the top right corner and watch that video. Now bring in the debris layer this should also start when the feet just touch the ground. So take this layer under the Roto 2 layer. Superb! Now bring in the smoke layer. Position this layer on the ground break area. Go to effect, color correction and add tint effect. I'll make the amount to 60% so that the smoke should match my scene. Nice! Now using this pen tool will make a perfect mask around the smoke. Turn the blending mode to screen. Hit F and make the feather to 200. And also take this layer forward. I mean the smoke layer should also start from the main action part. Nice. But the speed of the smoke is very slow. So right click, time, time stretch and make it 50. Superb! Now duplicate this smoke layer and make some position changes. Go to layer, transform and flip horizontal. Now simply select all these layers, pre-compose, move all the attributes inside and hit OK. Here we'll add a real camera shake effect. And also we can do some color correction if you want. And guys, we are done. So that's all for now, guys. I hope you guys have learned and enjoyed this cool technique of making the superhero lending effect. And still, if you have any questions or suggestions, just write them below in the comment section. And we'll see you guys in the next video.